Welcome to the Bee's Tales. Have you all celebrated Children's Day this November 14th? Do you know why Children's Day is celebrated? Yes, it is the birthday of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, fondly known as Chacha Nehru. And he was the first Prime Minister of Independent India. Independent India. That means there was a time when India was not free, isn't it? Mm. India became free on 15th August 1947. Now I'll tell you a story that is set in that time, the time of independence. Now you would think that independence made all Indians very happy, isn't it? But there was a little bit of sadness as well because when India became independent, India was actually split into two, into India and Pakistan. So the uh, country that is now known as Pakistan was once a part of India. And when that was split into two, there was a partition, <coughs> sorry, a lot of people from Pakistan had to move into India, a lot of people from India had to move into Pakistan and that was a very sad time for a lot of people. They had to leave their homes, their friends, the school that they had gone to, the neighborhood that they had lived in. So it was a very sad time for a lot of people and because of that, even when we say that independence is very good for us, we feel a little sad about the partition as well, isn't it? Now today's story is called Mukant and Riyas. It has been written by Nina Sabnani. It has also been illustrated by her. In fact, she won the Big Little Book Award for best illustration for this book. Now this is a story about partition. That's what I told you. How did Mukant and Riyas get involved in a partition? Let's find out. Mukand had a cricket cap. All of you might also have caps when you go out to play in the sun, isn't it? Yes, Mukand had a cricket cap. His best friend Riyas loved that cap and he wants that cap. But Mukand will not let Riyas wear it. Mukand feels that when he wears his cap, he can do anything. One day, when Riyas is chasing him, Mukand falls off his bicycle. He breaks his arm. And then what happens? Riyas takes Mukand to a bone setter. Now where do we go? We go to an orthopedic doctor, isn't it? Yes, there is the place where Mukand and Riyas were staying in Karachi. There was a bone setter and he was living in a place called Kimari that is close to Karachi. Now this bone setter is known as Kimari Kapaya and this man is everybody's friend. He doesn't take any fees from boys but even then they slip a little money into his donation box. When Mukand gets better he plays cricket with his friends on Campbell Street. He calls Riyas to play with them. But Riyas wants to read. He's like me. He loves reading books. Suddenly, a military van comes and stops on the street. An English soldier. Who's an English soldier? A soldier from England. Because before independence, India was being ruled by the British or by the English. So an English soldier jumps out and tells the boys to go home. But do boys listen? Mukand and Riyas go to the market instead, to their favorite bakery. They love to eat buns with biscuits inside them. They buy some buns and they go to the library. It is Sunday and Mukand is looking after people's shoes outside the Gurudwara. Now there is a Gurudwara there. What is a Gurudwara? 
like there is a temple for hindus like there is a church for christians there is a gurudwara for the sikh people people who belong to the sikh religion s i k h now he also serves ice water to everyone at the gurudwara now where does he get his water from he gets the water from his dear friend lada ram faluda wala now lada ram faluda wala is a parsi boy lada ram faluda wala gives the water that mukan takes to the gurudwara and distributes to the people there lada ram is happy that mukan has helped him he gives mukan some kulfi to eat and a bucket of cold water to take home at home mukan loves to stand in front of the mirror wearing his cap and dreaming about the future then one day the teacher does not come to school what happens when teachers don't come to school mukan that his friends had fun in class but a little later riyas comes to his class he tells mukan you must hurry home he says that the country has been divided into two india and pakistan mukund's family has to leave and mukund must go home to pack <coughs> sorry mukund does not understand what is happening here on the way home he sees very strange things he sees people chasing each other and shouting at each other he sees blood on the streets now riyas comes to see mukan and he brings something he brings kurtas and jinna caps now what are jinna caps jinna caps are long black caps and who jinna jinna is the first prime minister of independent pakistan so he brings kurtas and jinna caps he tells mukan to change his clothes and cap why because when uh, the country has been divided in, uh, india will have people from all religions but pakistan was to have people only f- uh, from the religion of islam so if people on the street see uh, somebody who is not dressed like muslim people then they might get attacked so he tells mukan to change his clothes and cap mukan refuses mukan's father tells him our lives are in danger and riyas is trying to help us if they wear kurtas and jinna caps they will look like everyone else they can leave karachi without being noticed now riyas is trying to help them he knows driving even though he is not old enough to drive but this is an emergency riyas takes mukant and his family to the harbor where is the harbor where ships come now he, uh, he takes mukant and his family to a harbor where a ship called ss shirala is waiting to take them to bombay in india there are many people in the harbor and they have to get on quickly mukan's family thanks riyas but mukan does not want to leave riyas with whom will he play now mukan stands by the ship's railing and he looks at riyas riyas waves to him mukan takes off his favorite cap and he throws it to riyas the ship begins to move the two friends wave to each other they wave and wave until they cannot see each other anymore mukan and riyas never met again but every time mukan saw the jinna cap 
he thought of his best friend. This is what Mukand told me. Mukand was my father. So this is the story of the author's father and his friend and they were both living in Karachi and during in the partition her father and his family had to come to India and they had to leave behind all their friends and the lovely memories that they had made in Karachi. Now there is one thing that you need to know about this story. Remember the activity that we did uh, for Tyrannosaurus trip wherein we uh, found out that people can be different and still they can all be loving and they can all be uh, good to us. Yes, here did you see there were people from different religions. There was Mukand who was a Hindu and he was going to help out at a Gurudwara and then there was Riyas who was a Muslim and then there was Ladaram uh, Faludawala who was a Parsi and they all lived together happily. So it doesn't matter what your religion is, you can all be friends with each other. All you need to do is make a little effort to be nice to others and the others are also going to be very nice to you. I hope you enjoyed the story. Until we meet again, make sure that you read the story. How will you read the story? You have to get hold of this book. It has been published by Tulika Publishers. Get hold of this book. Find out what is so great about the illustrations. I haven't shown you the illustrations. Find out what is so great about the illustrations that it won an award. And read the story again. If you find it a little difficult to understand, then ask your uh, parents or your uh, grandparents or somebody who knows about partition. Ask them to help you out a little bit and to explain. In fact, your grandparents may even have stories of the time of partition. Find out and let me know as well. Make sure you drop me a note. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, wait. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the video. Bye-bye.